My shoes back on. Oh my god! Well, that's the thing. There was gluten in all of the donuts I brought in this morning. So if she's so allergic to it, why isn't she dead now? Marcus, to set. Marcus, you are 17 minutes late for your call. Marcus, to set. Is anyone here like a, a throbbing? That's the best way I can describe it. Just like a throbbing sound. My name's Terry, and if you're gonna die, come on down to Cemetery's Mortuary. Why? Hit it, guys. Where do you go when someone needs to be buried? Cemetery. Single plots or doubles if you were married. Cemetery. We'll bury you deep and we'll pack the dirt firm. Our caskets are airtight to keep out the worms. We'll water your grass, treat your headstone with care, and that's about it, cause you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Cemetery is mortuary. Our shovels are standing by. Hello, I'm Phil Incahatsky. Are you, are you like me or hundreds of others across the country who, that suffer from a debilitating fear of oh, a debilitating fear of microphones? Oh, you don't have to go it alone. Come to the basement of St. Olaf's Church this Thursday at 5.30 for a support group unlike any other. Oh, microphone of is united, stand together! Because facing your fears is a must. Must. Which stands for microphone of public united stand together! Get me out of here! Uh, attention, there are leftover french fries in the, uh, Jack Attack room. Leftover french fries in the Jack Attack room. Uh... I am Cookie Masterson, and I shaved my nipples for this, so let's hurry before it grows back. Like, we need to get moving now. I thought I told you three to wear something revealing. I'm joking, of course. Everyone's got a nice little screw. If you think another player is clueless, screw them and make them answer immediately. If they miss it, you win extra cash. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... Flavored Eye Drops. Why let your mouth have all the fun? Flavored Eye Drops. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. Okay then, why wait any longer? Get ready to the question. One. First question. Eat, pray, die. Which of these Julia Roberts characters would Jack the Ripper have been most likely to savagely murder? Aaron Brockovich, Vivian Ward, Tess Ocean, or Liz Gilbert? <laughs> Time is short. Players one and two. Vivian Ward is the name of the prostitute Julia Roberts plays in Pretty Woman. And almost all of serial killer Jack the Ripper's alleged victims were female prostitutes. So he'd probably have just loved to murder her. I can see it now. He'd open the box with his knife in it. She'd reach in and he'd playfully shut it, snapping her fingers. She'd laugh, he'd laugh, and he'd kill her. Let's try, if I only had a brain trust. 
Suppose the Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz faced off against the Wicked Witch of the West in a public debate. If he wanted to use a straw man argument against her, what might he do? Attack the Wicked Witch's character rather than the issues? Misrepresent the Wicked Witch's position on the issues? Prove the Wicked Witch wrong using statistical data? Or interrupt the Wicked Witch before she finishes her points? Watch the clock! Player 2. A straw man argument purposefully misrepresents an opponent's position in order to strike it down. Here's how I would debate the Wicked Witch. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the two candidates you see here tonight is a Wicked Witch. Thank you, I yield the rest of my time. Coming up next, getting naughty, and this dis or dat leg's being tied up. Player three, looks like you've got some catching up to do. This dis or dat is all yours. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, you tell me if it's the name of a necktie knot, or the name of a sex position recommended by Women's Health Magazine. If it's a necktie knot, press the square button. If it's a sex position, Press the circle button. The rest of you ought to pay attention. Pick your answers before player three does, because if player three gets it wrong, everyone who gets it right will split that cash. Ready? Let's go. The Half Windsor. The Valedictorian. The, the Trinity, the Caboose, the Chairman, the Four. It appears your score likes to be on bottom. My usual sex position is also the way I usually tie a tie, alone in front of a mirror. It's time for Shop Till Everyone Drops. Say at Christmas time, every single item at your local mall sells out. According to a popular grim fairy tale, which of these stores has the best chance to be magically stocked overnight by hardworking elves? Foot Locker, Radio Shack, Victoria's Secret, or Lens Crafters? <laughs> Player one, what were you thinking there? <laughs> Players two and three, in the grim fairy tale, the elves and the cobbler, a poor shoemaker is given some much needed help by elves who appear in the middle of the night. <laughs> and while the shoemaker made a nice profit, the elves were trampled to death on Black Friday. <laughs> And now, Okia Dokia. If you're driving between company headquarters, which trip should be the shortest? Ikea to Kia, Kia to Nokia, Nokia to Ikea, or Ikea, Nokia, and Kia headquarters are exactly the same distance apart. <laughs> Time's a wasting. Player two. Nokia, no Kia. <laughs> now pay attention. Nokia is based in Finland and IKEA is based right next door in Sweden. Kia is based in South Korea. Whether it's phones, furniture, or cars, if it's got Kia in the name, you know it's gonna be cheap. I mean inexpensive, inexpensive. <laughs> We've finished round one and player two is out in front, but there's more trivia to come. Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. And don't forget about your screws. You want to win, don't you? Here's a good one. Muscle milk was a bad choice. 
Say the news team from the Anchorman films decides to run a relay race against a rival news team. If Ron Burgundy is his team's anchor, when will he run? Before Brick, Brian, and Champ? After Brick and Brian, but before Champ? Before Brian and Champ, but after Brick? Or after Brick, Brian, and Champ? <laughs> How much time left? Player three. Whoa! Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Players one and two. In a relay race, the anchor, usually the fastest runner, goes last. <laughs> and they would probably promote the race so incessantly that by the time it actually took place, you wouldn't be that interested in seeing it anymore. Question seven. Get up and shake your monkey bag. Why not try... Guess who's Dak? Dak again. You know, I'm not an optimist, but I have to say, I feel like things have been going pretty well with the game so far. Send Daddy for Dada Doubt Me! Oh no, my old ventriloquist puppet, Billy O'Brien! One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so... Who's the dummy? Not me! Billy, the whole creative team here decided to not include you in this game because you're too much of a troublemaker. Troublemaker? Me? No, I just got back from traveling the world, studying all the profound teachings of titular world spiritual leaders. For instance, which titular religious group was found to die someone with the last name of Smith? Protestants, Episcopalians, Trustitarians, or Nornuns? Hello? Player three? Player one. What a pity. Player two. The Mormon religion was founded in the 1800s by Joseph Smith. In America. So, which was your favorite religion you studied? Well, I particularly like the ones that treats the doubt reincarnation. Someday, I hope to come back as a beautiful coffee table. And on its way, Orcas 11. Say I wanted to go around freeing the killer whales from every SeaWorld location in the world. How many separate rescue missions would I need to go on? Three rescue missions, four rescue missions, five rescue missions, or six rescue missions? Player one, who do you want to screw? You can't just leave your screw hanging out in the breeze like that. We'll try not to let that ruin the rest of the game. Player two? Well, 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 look who's wrong now. It was begging to be picked. There are three Sea Worlds, one in San Diego, one in San Antonio, and one in Orlando. So you would need to go on three separate rescue missions. Well, that sounds like a lot of traveling. Maybe I'll just pay that kid from Free Willy to do it. Something tells me he could use the cash. <laughs> Bucker up for Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, yeah. or Uranus. The name of Jeff Dunham's purple skinned puppet. Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. <laughs> Watch the clock. Players two and three. His name is Peanut. I have to admit, people who talk through ventriloquist puppets kind of creep me out. That you talk through me. Quiet, Billy. Stop trying to get me to kill people. Wow. Now you're creeping me out, man.
Take a good look at the midnight run to the bathroom. According to Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, how would Paul Revere secretly signal to you that he has to pee in the sea? I have to do a number one in a one. I have to do a number one in a two. I have to do a number one in a three. Or I have to do a number two in a one. <laughs> Watch your time! Player three? Sorry, no take backs. <laughs> Player two? According to Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's poem, Paul Revere's Ride, Paul's signal for the British was one if by land, two if by sea. And as we all know, a number one is a P. And Americans would have known about the British sooner if he hadn't stopped for a number four. You don't even want to know what that is. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 big ones if you're right, but you lose 2,000 if you're wrong. And don't forget, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. This plus this equals that. What new thing do these combine to make? Good luck. Players 1 and 3 made losing look easy, so they deserve some of the credit. And you all deserve to know that. You don't know Jack!
Hey! Greetings. Thanks for firing up a game of Drawful. Just three players, huh? Well, the upside of not having many friends is that you'll each get to draw more times. Let's party. Okay, I'm sending a title to each of your devices. Something unusual, like Cobra Commander or the Chris Gethard Show. Draw a picture on your device that would have that title, and when you're done, hit send and you'll get points for each player that can correctly guess your title. So, just try your best. Got all your drawings, it's time for some fun. Um. Now, use your device to type in what you think the title for this picture could have been. Or better yet, something you think could trick the other players into thinking it's the title. You'll get points for every player that picks your answer. you think really inspired this drawing. Hey! Here's everybody's picks. Huh, I didn't expect everybody to get that one right. And our next weird doodle. Type in your titles now. your choices. Okay, nerds, yes, I know there should be a colon in that name, but let's just move on with our lives, please. Um. Enter anything that could almost make sense now.
Just type in anything you can think of. Okay, here are your choices. Hey! Hi, bye! Bye! Vicky! Ah! What did everybody pick? Okay, well, that was that. <laughs> Another batch of titles are heading to your devices as I speak. Get ready to draw them. I have all your pictures now. Um, these are interesting. Uh, let's take a look. Um. Next up. And here are your choices. You're a weird bunch of players. Um. Let's do this one. Okay, here are your choices. Here's everybody's picks. Okay, so that happened. Oh. 
own. Okay, let's do this again. Are your choices. Pick something. <laughs> All right, who picked what? <laughs> I don't like it when everybody gets it right, but I'm a petty person. Let's do this drawing thing one last time.